Hey Funko Hunters! Today, I'm going to tell you how I saved over $300 buying this Funko Pop. Do you want to know my secrets and how I save money buying rare and expensive Funko Pops? Thought you might. Now the first part in saving money buying Funko Pops is you need to figure out which specific Funko Pop or Funko Pop set you want to collect. For me, I really wanted Captain Rex. He is my favorite Star Wars character and very exclusive, so I had to get him. So there we go, I found my Funko Pop that I want to hunt. Next what I did was I searched every platform to try to look for the cheapest version there was or the cheapest one that was selling so I mean you go on everything like Amazon, Facebook, Marketplace, um, Mercari, whatnot, eBay, there's a ton of places. I don't trust eBay so I never buy from there and I don't suggest you buy Funko Pops from there either because there's a lot of people that uh, resell, but they're fakes. I just don't trust eBay. Been scammed too many times. So the cheapest one I found was in Facebook Marketplace, which is such an underrated place to get Funko Pops. Yeah, I don't even know. Some people have very specific reasons why they're selling Funko Pops, which makes it a little easier to get them for a lot cheaper. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you the specific reason why I got this one for so cheap at the end. So now we found the pop we want to hunt and we found the cheapest one we could find. And by the way, Captain Rex, he was being, he was being sold for $300 at the time. Keep that in mind. Now the next thing to do was to come to a compromise. You gotta keep in mind, although these pops are worth a certain amount, they are like $15 pops. So, you wanna try to get it down as low as possible without being a complete a-hole. So, we agreed for the $200 price, and we also agreed to meet up at a nearby Target parking lot. Once we met at the Target parking lot, I looked over it a whole bunch inspected the crap out of it to make sure that this was indeed a real Captain Rex Funko Pop and that there was no other damages that I might not have seen from the pictures because sometimes that happens and if there are damages you can always bring the price down more because of it. Always make sure that the pop you're buying from a third party seller is real and in good condition. Now the reason we got him down to the 200 price is because well it's a it's it's a bit of a tragic story so his his wife apparently was like helping him collect Funko Pops just like my wife does and you know he grew a big collection and just one day she was like nah I don't want you to have that collection anymore you gotta sell it ASAP and so he had to sell it quickly and he was really sad to get rid of it but it went to a great home and I take really good care of it so yeah and th this guy did make quite a bit of profit anyways since he did get it back when it released um, I believe it was 2015 now to 2018 yeah, so he, he got it for in 2018 for $15. It says it right here. You can't really see it, but it's right there. So I hope this video will help you when you're out there on the hunt. If this did help you in any way, shape, or form, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe for more. Because I'll be making more of these types of videos. Unless you guys don't want me to, then just let me know and I won't make them. Happy hunting, and I'll see you in the next video.